Okay, after commercial break, we're back. Spark plug two seals on the vehicle. I was trying to decide because we had a problem with these leaking, which way they went on as far as in the valve cover. So, here's the valve cover. Here's the new tube seal right here. And they go on like that with the closed part to the top, all right? But I'm gonna RVT around the edge. I don't usually ever do that. But since these were leaking, I don't know why. So I'm going to do that and we're gonna put this one valve cover back on and wrap this baby up. Let's get adjusted here. And Byron, is there a way to zoom on this thing? Yes, can you zoom this in? I've been trying and it, I'm got it facing me and I'm not getting zoomed in. Mm. Are you doing it then? Yeah, maybe you can on forward facing. So maybe forward facing we can't zoom. Sorry guys, this visual's not very good. So an RVT around this whole edge. Probably people are going to say that's nuts. I don't usually do anything with rubber gaskets. I think it's nuts too, but I don't know why new ones leaked. And I'm doing this again. And I don't want to do it a third time. So, suggestions? Tell me. I don't know everything. Nobody does. If you do, you're. You're just stupid. If you think you do, you need help. All right, there we are. So we got RVT in these corners. We got to clean out this hole. RVT right here and put in some new right on this little crack here. Anyway, what I'm going to do for the sake of time, because obviously you put it back together the way you took it apart. So sometimes I don't see any need of showing everything going back together. So, uh, you're going to torque the center intake. Torque your upper intake. I got to look the specs up for that. Put your valve cover back together. Put all your parts back in. Clean all your um, coils back up. And that should cure our problem. Thanks for watching. Tune in again. Sorry, boring one, but we'll do better next time.